준비됐어요? 네. 갈게요. 헬로 가이즈 웰컴 투 에이션 페트롤 헤드 아이 카이나 바로 더카 프롬 마이 프렌 이츠 아 클래식 빈티지 프롬 현대 캔 유 게스 워드 이즈 Maybe I'm a little bit too noisy because we're right beside the road. It's actually a Hyundai Pony 2. Uh, it's actually 1984 Hyundai Pony 2 actually. Uh, kind of borrowed a car from my friend because we have a short clip to film uh, with a collaboration with uh, History Channel Korea. But uh, I kind of snuck the car for a few minutes because I really wanted to share the car with you guys because I, I'm not sure when I'm going to have another chance like this. So uh, we're doing this live. So if you do have any question or if you do like to see anything, let us know through the comment section and we'll try to show you as much as we can during the uh, streaming. And, um, and before we begin, please do support us by subscribing to our channel. And my friend also has a YouTube channel. So if you're into classic cars and uh, you know, vintage cars, please visit his um, YouTube channel as well. I will leave a link in the description. So let's do talk about uh, Hyundai Pony. And Hyundai, this is actually a rear-wheel driven small car from Hyundai. Uh, they built this car around 1975 through 1990. It's actually funny because I remember my uncle had this and he used to take us to the uh, baseball st stadium with the Pony 2, so it's a long time. And um, actually this car was designed by uh, Italian designer, uh, Giorgetto Giugiaro, you know, probably didn't get his name right, but you know who he is, a famous Italian designer. And if you see this, this is actually a hatchback style. Uh, it was also produced as a uh, sedan or um, wagon, and also as a, a pickup truck, two-seater pickup truck. So. This was actually, um, let me move out of the way, um, made in various uh, body types. And because we're here, let me just show you the second row seats. All done. I think that was, <laughs> I am 6'2", so, uh, oh, that was where I was sitting. So I think I have to move the seats a little bit. Ah! Okay not working so I don't think I can fit in here I can do as you can see uh, I'm 6'2 so it's very cramped back here uh, headroom is all right headroom seems, seems like a stinger ish but legroom is a little bit tight because you know I was driving in front and uh, you know it's a very classic it's got roll down window type and uh, you know not much and this is also as you guys asked uh, rear hood drive so it's Got the drive shaft here and seat belts here, and um, you know, not much going on here. So they have uh, lights up there. So let's get out of the car and wow. So, and uh, you know, it just makes a lovely noise when it closes. So let's move to the front and show you the front. This is actually Pony 2, so it's actually the uh, facelift of the first generation. First generation had a uh, uh, circular lens, I mean the headlamp, but this guy has a rectangular lamp. If you do ask me, I kind of prefer the first generation Pony 1 because it looks more, um, you know, classic vintage. It used to be uh, the side mirrors were attached to the side of the body, so. But this car, this car looks more, what you call it, modern from the uh, uh, first generation. And let me show you the engine room quickly. Let's see. All right. So when they're building ponies, uh, Hyundai did not have uh, know-how or um, to build any engines or transmissions. So they bought the engine from Mitsubishi. This is 1.4 liter carburetor type Mitsubishi engine and made it to four speed um, manual transmission. We'll show you how it drives. It produces about 92 uh, horsepower. So it, I, I drove on the way here. It drove pretty nicely and uh, 
we'll show you how it drives momentarily so, and um, let me just show you the interior let me show you the driver's seat so please have a seat back I'm going to show you the uh, driver's side so it seems like the internet is holding up pretty nicely all done a producer is trying to get in here it's kind of low crowded in here so okay so so let me show you the car inside uh, it's a very hot day but there's no AC in this car so oh my gosh I'll help us and uh, like I said there's a uh, only roll down window here so we left all the windows open right now and um, the cloth seats seats are made of cloth and uh, the uh, the roof is kind of getting need some work done and uh, the gauge cluster seems to be very uh, simple design it's got a speedometer on the left and no RPM gauge it's just got a big old clock I'm not sure who made this call you know he said you know why don't we have a big old clock right next to the uh, speedometer so I'm not sure some uh, climate control system no ARC <laughs> just air vents and uh, some radio um, ashtray and a cigar jack and four speed uh, manual shift and uh, you know side brake and that's pretty much about it um, we'll show you uh, we're gonna take her around uh, one block and um, we'll uh, have to kind of rearrange the camera and put my laptop back so uh, don't go away we'll be back right Ready? Okay. What's the cutter? All right, guys. So we're gonna. Okay. All right. So we started her up, and um, let's see. Uh, let me put my seatbelt on. So no air conditioner, but uh, we have uh, air vents, air, air coming out, so it's not too bad. Okay, so, whew. so let's get out of here and show you how well she drives on the road. You know, this is classic car, so I'm not gonna do uh, zero to 60 or anything like that. Gotta respect the, uh, the age. Um, actually, it's funny because I was born in year 1980 and this car is uh, 1984, so it's only four years younger than me. Uh, so it makes this car about 36 years old. So, you know, see the back window was a little rattling. So we may, we 
you got out of the um, parking lot. Let's see. Stuck in there. So, uh, to start, the visibility is uh, quite nice for a antique car. As you can see, it's got big windows all around and uh, you know, it seems to have uh, great visibility even to the back window. So I, I think Hyundai wanted to uh, provide great visibility from the start from the gecko and um, okay, all done. We're just stuck in the and the uh, initial feeling is that clutch is easy to uh, maneuver. It's, it's, it's actually, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't driven sticks uh, in a long time, but it's still not hard to drive. So this guy makes only 92 horsepower, but uh, you know, this car is not big. Uh, it's not heavy, so it's uh, making the car driving the car pretty nicely and uh, feels quite nice. Hold on, let me just uh, put the car back here. And, um, and it's making that carburetor noise, good old. And the four speed uh, manual is uh, doing a pretty good job. Um, shifting smoothly. And the owner, I think, uh, kept the uh, maintenance the car pretty nicely. And, uh, like I said, this car is about 36 years old, so oh, I don't think we have to go that way. So it's not fast or powerful or anything like that, but it's moving the car pretty nicely. And uh, we're already on the fourth, so the gear gearing is very short. So. I'm gonna go have to go down this tunnel and um, yeah so if you do have any questions let us know through the comment section I'm sorry it's gonna be a little bit loud because we have a no AC <laughs> driving through a tunnel So this car, you know, has no problem driving through the town. Everything's working fine, and uh, and uh, because there's no power system, the uh, steering and brake system can feel a bit heavy at first. But I'm sure you guys can get used to it pretty soon. And uh, you know, it's actually very nice because it feels like you're driving part of the history like I said my uncle used to drive this car to uh, stadium when I was a little kid I think I was like eight or ten so it feels great driving the you know history and um, we're kind of stuck in the traffic as well and uh, it is very very hot day today hope you guys are staying cool and uh, we're gonna try to get back to the uh, parking lot and uh, answer some of the questions and uh, see what you guys think about the uh, oh and then there is also uh, I don't know if you guys can see this this is what the uh, Hyundai logo used to be like you know and then there is even air conditioning but I guess it was optional oh please you know it's not working so and there's blinkers like this you can use the blinkers uh, wipers uh, oh, it's working but <laughs> very slowly you get it yeah so yep uh, yeah, it's working so <laughs> so this is uh, first second so okay I think I'm gonna make a u-turn here I'm glad I can be showing this to you guys because, you know, I didn't know, I'm not sure when I'm going to have another chance, so it's a very good feeling. 
uh, to be driving and um, you know if you love classic vintage cars you know what I'm talking about it feels very uh, unique and uh, unique experience I'm not sure if I if you can even hear me <laughs> so let's try to get back to the parking lot kilometers without any problem because it's only four shift you, you kind of have to shift you know quite quickly but other than that it's pretty nice all of them were almost near the uh, parking lot so. It's quite amazing. Hyundai used to be like this, and now they build Stinger, Palisade, um, Genesis. So that's quite amazing uh, progress they made in a uh, few decades. So they have a small glove box here. <laughs> so it's very simple. Okay. So give us a minute, we'll go into the parking lot and uh, talk you through the uh, comments and uh, say goodbye, right? Okay, it's a green. So fast here, yeah, like this. Second. Gearing is quite short. Third and fourth. That's it, no more. <laughs> so it's got only fourth gear, so why not? It's actually a very hot day, but it's you know a very nice day if you look at the skies. And brakes can feel a little bit heavy at first, and uh, so you're gonna it's not your stinger, you know. You're gonna have to give it some distance. But, uh, everything seems to be working quite nicely. Oh, you see, it's a headlamp <laughs> working. So while we wait, uh, let me give you some updates. Uh, I think we're gonna give you a quick, uh, one more spy shot review about Genesis G80 tomorrow morning, around the same time today, 11 a.m. from my uh, Pacific time. And um, we we'll, we'll have a K7 Premier, which is a cadenza, new cadenza, 2.5 liter gasoline. Uh, booked on next Monday through Wednesday, so we're gonna film that as well and uh, Hopefully we'll unload that as well and uh, after that I think we're trying to get the uh, venue, but uh, Venue is very popular. So we're trying to contact Hyundai folks and uh, they're gonna contact us uh, with a with a booking date so give us a few more dates on the venue and uh, I think uh, yeah, we'll uh, try to get you more reviews coming. So, yeah, so give us a second. Hmm. 
Hmm. Very classic car. Come on, give me a green light. Oh. Okay, so uh, we are back to the parking lot. Let's read some of your comments and uh, let's see if you want to see anything. So it's a little bit heavy when you have to steer a lot. So let's pull the car here and some of your comments okay so okay guys we made it back to uh, the parking lot hello guys uh, yes Jin uh, it drives really nicely uh, let me get our producer out of the car <laughs> it drives really nicely and yes it's it looks like a, I don't know, brownish color. Um, thank you everyone. Um, thanks for tuning in. And uh, yeah, it's a front bumper. I heard it's got a cushion right here because I think they wanted to uh, export it to European countries. Back then, this was a requirement, you know, to absorb the impact. It kind of even moves when I push it, so so that's that. Okay, what else, you guys? Uh, thank you, Chris, uh, Steve. Yes, uh, Steve, this is rear-wheel drive. Uh, it only makes uh, 92 horsepower, but it is rear-wheel driven. It's got drum brakes on. It's wearing um, 175, 70 by 13 inch, so. It's not an SUV, but it's wearing 13 inch rims. Uh, yeah, Pelice is a very nice car. Yeah, glad you like the dashboard, Eddie. It's got a big old clock on the right side. And um, I, think, I think it was imported to US, Canada, and a few uh, European countries as well. Yes, uh, Steve, so if you're a businessman, you need to keep track of the time so that's why Hyundai president probably put that onto the onto the car um, okay yes tell us Sonata I think that's your right okay oh yes Jean I'm I'm over I'm 40 now so I'm getting old <laughs> thank you guys and uh, Yes, uh, it's got no AC, so it's very, very hot today. Uh, we're sweating like a pair of pigs here. <laughs> but thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, so, let's see if you want to... Yes, the signals were very, very long. Uh, let me also show you the trunk. The time allows. This is what the key looks like with a little H logo in it. You know, it's got no remote controller. Oh, it says Hyundai on the back. So. And there's no uh, buttons, you kind of have to <laughs> open it like this. Um, oh, shoot, some parts are falling down. Um, see, he even has the, uh, the rims, chrome caps for it. Um, you know, some few stuff. So this is also very interesting. And it also closes with the... Uh, um, good sound yes 92 horsepower so yeah so thank you guys for tuning in uh, if you do have any questions uh, 
it's a good time to ask now because before we end the live streaming and uh, so yeah like it says it says 1400 GLS so this is a great car and uh, I'm glad to be showing you this classic car thank you Mr. Kim for letting me borrowing the car and um, yeah this is it so thank you guys so much for tuning in um, like I said I think we'll be back uh, with uh, another spy shot of uh, Genesis G80 tomorrow morning and uh, now we're gonna have to go back to uh, uh, Korean and film the collaboration video with the History Channel Korea so thank you guys for tuning in and we'll be back with more car reviews and uh, before you leave please do support us by subscribing to our channel thank you and I have to go this way